everybody, it's Lori from Paracord Planet. Today's tutorial is on the adjustable paracord gunsling. On paracordplanet.com, we have a ton of different kits available to easily make a DIY gunsling. In the, uh, in the kit, you will receive 60 feet of paracord. And if you get a two color kit, you will get 30 feet and 30 feet. And right here, I have 60 feet of obsidian. You will also get the nylon webbing, which is adjustable from 35 inches to 43 inches in length. And then you'll also get a second sling swivel for the other end of your sling to connect to the gun, here and here. You will also need a lighter and a scissors, which of course are not included in the kit. So the first thing that you will want to do is get to the halfway point of your paracord. Once you find the halfway point, you will want to take your a sling swivel and you'll do a cow stitch. So you'll go through the top of it and then just simply loop it over. Then you will take your sling and you will go through this end of it with the other ends. I know this might be tough at this point, but you will want to be really careful not to uh, cross any of your paracord. Otherwise, it will lay a little, a little crooked and have a couple bulges in there. And then you'll go in through the top of the webbing. Pull them all the way through. Okay, make sure none of your paracord is crossing over. probably want a little bit this is um, you know a little loose in there so what you can do then is take your ends and go back through up here um, this is also at the point of which you want to check the length um, and it should be about the length of your arm so <clears throat> this one is good for mine so I'm gonna fold that over and get the other ends You can use jigs for um, for these gunslings. We do offer uh, big jigs that will be could be helpful if you want. And then just go in through the back of the sling swivel and put one on each side of your cow stitch and pull that all down. Now that you have it looped through the nylon webbing end once here, what you're gonna do just to fill up this uh, swing swivel, all you'll do is take this end here, uh, both of them should be on the outside of the cow stitch, get to the end of it, or just make a loop, and loop them each back through. So it'll just take a, a little bit more room so then it won't be uh, so then your paracord won't shift inside of the swivel. Just like that. And you'll do the same thing with the other one. Just take it and go up through it to make an extra loop.
Okay. Lay them down flat. Then at this point you'll want to just check your, make sure everything is still laying nicely, which it is. And then this is what the top of your sling should look like here. You should have six little loops up there. All right. Again, just you can check the length of your sling against your arm if you want to. It should just be approximately the same length around from your wrist about to your shoulder. And now at this point, we will start the Cobra. So make sure they're laying flat like this. Take one side and just go on top of all of your cords, the four of them. And take the other one on the left side and go on top of that cord behind and then up through the loop you just made. Now this is a little cumbersome right now just because there's so much extra paracord, but of course the further you get into the sling, the more you weave, the less cord you'll have and the quicker it will be to do that. So that's what you should have after one weave there. And then you'll do the same thing, but this time you'll start on the left with your cord on top forming a loop. This one will go on top of the cord you just laid, behind the base cord, and then up through the loop. You can pull that tight there. You can push it up, up up a little bit so that there's less of a gap in between your first cobra stitch and the swivel snap. So this is what you should have so far. Let's do that a couple more times. So now you will again start back on the right side with going over, over, behind, and up through. This is what um, what each individual stitch looks like before you pull it tight. It's like a little pretzel and pull it tight. Okay. So now again you'll start on the left, go on top, take the cord on the right and go on top of the cord you just laid from the left. behind, and then up through. That's what you should have. Pull it tight. So, now that you've seen how to do a few stitches of that, I'm gonna fast forward through the video here and I will meet you guys when we have it down here at the base of the nylon webbing. Now that you are at the base of your nylon webbing, you can see that the entire uh, gun sling is done with the cobra at this point. So to make it a king cobra, all you need to do is turn around and do the exact same thing through the, uh, through the sling again. However, this is a little, um, it will slide very easily through there. So just to fill it up a little bit, what you're going to do is take both of these ends and put them up through the buckle there. So just get to the ends of your paracord. And then go up through the slider there. And just pull them. So 
so that takes up just a little bit more room in the in the slider there so it won't move around too much on you now what you're going to do is just simply do the cobra again back down it which makes it a king cobra now so you'll just start with one on top again on top behind and through exactly the same way as you just did that entire sling Let's just do one more here. So you'll start again with the one on top, top, behind, and through. So what you will want to do is make sure that um, all the gaps have the loop going through them. That will keep it nice and even and uniform as well. So. I will meet you guys then down here when we get to the swing swivel and I'll show you how to end it. Now that you have made the King Cobra over the entire sling here, you are nearly done. All we need to do at this point is cut off both ends of the paracord, burn and um, flatten them out. If you wanted to, you could take a fit and run them through a few of the loops there, but it's not completely necessary if you don't want to do that. So, just simply cut at the base there, take your lighter, and then burn where you just cut, and then of course being sure not to burn any of the other paracord. Now that they are both burned off, you can see that it of course turned you know, a little bit white right there. So something that you can do just to darken it up and make it a little less noticeable is just take a permanent marker and fill that in. Do the same with this one. So there you have it, the adjustable King Cobra Paracord Rifle Sling. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed. See you next week. Hi everybody, it's Lori from Paracord Planet. Thank you so much for watching our video today. If you liked it, please click the like button below and subscribe to our channel right up here so you can get instant notifications of when we upload videos, tutorials, and product spotlights. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.